In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the history curriculum that I am using with my second and third graders in our homeschool this year. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and this is A Common Life. I'm a homeschooling mom of five kids ages 4 through 12 and this year I'm combining history with my second and third grader and also my preschooler slash kindergartner is kind of joining us as well as he wants to. If he's not super interested in doing some of the things that we are doing, then I let him play quietly, but some of the time he is working with us as well. This is the curriculum that we are using. It's called Heroes and Heroines of the Past American History, and this is from Golden Prairie Press. And I actually got this completely free. Um, sometime last year, a homeschooling blog was like giving away this huge bundle of free curriculum. And this was one of the things in the bundle. So I picked it up, it was free, this is not like sponsored or anything like that. This is just something that I found online that was completely free. So I have no idea if it is still free. Um, I will look it up for you guys and I will have a link in the description box if I can find it again. I'm assuming it probably is something that you have to pay for now because this is, it's two books. I printed it out. It's over 300 pages worth of curriculum here. So this is pretty awesome. So anyway, this is what we are using this year. And like I said, I got it for completely free. And then what I did is I went through all of our history books in our home and our read alouds and things like that. And I tried to match up whatever I could with this curriculum. So this book was designed for first through sixth graders and all the history lessons are divided into two sections. So the first section has um, just a basic overview, which is basically for the younger children. And it's also written in a larger font. And then the other part of the book is for the older children, maybe like third through sixth grade. All of these are stories of heroes and heroines from the past. And some of them have reprints from old stories and some are by more modern authors, but they are designed basically for all kids in grades one through six. But like I said, I'm also using it with my preschool slash kindergartner this year. This is definitely a Christian based curriculum but it isn't any denomination specific. They do have memory verses, memory Bible verses each week, which you can write on an index card and practice them throughout the week, and then they can be recited. And there's also several quotes and things like that throughout the book. It has lots of different activities, so you don't actually have to do everything that is in the book. There are questions, writing topics, geography, there's art, there's reading, there's music, there's poems, there's so many different things in here. Each lesson takes about an hour to complete, Although sometimes it can take a little bit less than that, but if you're doing something like an art project or a recipe, then it will definitely take longer. There are also other things that come with this curriculum package, but like I said, I just got this free printable. It also has a CD, historical skits, a history, sing some history CD, and listen to some US history MP3 CD, which I do not have either of those. And there's also an optional book, which is an American history coloring book. There are also sections where you examine historical art, which I really like. And I think it would be great if, you know, since these are in my book, they're just black and white, it would be great to actually look these up on the computer and kind of like zoom in and get a really close look at them. You are able to order that additional material CD where it does have the color copy though, but you can also just look it up online and save yourself some money. So that's just a quick look at the curriculum itself. Let me show you the things that I am using to kind of supplement with the curriculum. So first let's do the read alouds. We are currently reading The Indian in the Cupboard, which matched up perfectly with the beginning of the book. So this is the one we're reading right now. Next, we are going to read Madeline Takes Command, which these are all just books I already had. Then we are going to, this says little, I put a little post-it on it to know which date I wanted to start each book. So this one is Sarah Plain and Tall. Then we're going to do Skylark. Then the next one is Caleb's Story. Then More Perfect Than the Moon and Grandfather's Dance. So we're gonna go through this whole entire story or our series. Then I think in the new year, we're actually gonna be reading this book, which is called By the Great Horn Spoon, another book that I already had. I read this with my older kids last year um, and they really enjoyed it. And this is another book that I had bought for my daughter. It's called Five Smooth Stones, Hope's Revolutionary War Diary. And obviously we are going to read this while we are learning about the Revolutionary War. Now we do have a bunch of other read alouds that we're doing this year. Those are just the ones that are specific to this curriculum. Um, we are in a book club, and so we're gonna be doing books with our book club. And actually the Indian in the cupboard is from the book club. So it was perfect. The timing of that was absolutely perfect. So, um, but yeah, we have lots of other read alouds, but I'm not gonna share those in this video. I do have a lot of other picture books and kind of educational books. So let me show you those right now. First up is this huge encyclopedia. It's the Young People's Encyclopedia of the United States. And we're just using this as basically a reference guide. If the kids have any questions or there's anything I want to look up and give a little bit more detail about, 
I'm using this encyclopedia to do that. I have this book on Washington DC, which like I said, I already had all these books. I did not buy anything new. I just used the things that I already had in my house. And obviously you can go to the library and pick up books for free. Um, and I may do that when we get further into the unit because I have books for these first few units, but as we get further in, I may have to go to the library and pick up some more books. But these are just the ones I already had in my house. So this book is about Washington DC. I bought a bunch of these Read, Discover, Explore books at the Dollar Tree. So I have one about Abraham Lincoln. I absolutely love these DK Eyewitness books. And this one is about the American Revolution. It has so much information in here. I love these books. It's just chock full of information, pictures, um, things from real life, but also things they kind of reenact. So I love these books. These are great. These are the kind that I can give to the boys and just say, hey, go look through this book for a few minutes. And they love these. Then I have this book called Dakota Dugout. The rig ran on. This is a really neat book called Inventive Americans. This is one where we will kind of pick and choose different things from within the book, but it just has lots of different stories about different inventors from America. Here's another one of those Dollar Tree books. This is Alexander Hamilton. Then we have this one about Benjamin Franklin, Ben and his pen, the American Revolution, George Washington. And this one we've been using right now, it's the North American Indian, another DK eyewitness book. Again, just like chock full of information and real photo photographs of real things and drawings and things like that. So this is really great. Then the ox cart man. And the last one we have is the Mayflower. And like I said, I will probably end up getting more books at the library, but these are the ones that we have right now. And we had a bunch of books about native Americans and things like that. So I didn't really need to get anything for the beginning of the school year. In addition to this curriculum, we are also going to be studying the 50 states and the presidents. And so I already had a bunch of things in my home already to study those topics. And so I'll show those to you right now. First of all, I have these little 50 states cards, um, which are really neat. There's one for each state and it is the family field guides. My mother-in-law found this for me. So we're just going to go through each of these as we hit a certain state. We'll pull out the card and go over it. I also have this book called Don't Know Much About the 50 States and this one's really fun. And it also has like some interesting fun facts, um, like what Minnesotan was so big that he used a pine tree to brush his beard and it was Paul Bunyan. And so there's lots of different things throughout here. So it's not just like historical factual things. There's lots of other things like fables and um, silly laws and things like that. So this book is really fun. I really like this one. I will have all these books that I can link to down in my description box so that you can get a copy for yourselves. And this one is an Usborne book called From Pie Town to Yum Yum, Weird and Wacky Place Names Across the United States. And I thought that this would just be a fun supplement to kind of add. So as we get to a certain state, like here's Massachusetts, there is a town called Loudville, Massachusetts. I don't know if you can see that really well. Um, but yeah, we'll go through and each time we get to a different state, we'll find the page in this book and just read it together because it's really fun. And I also have workbooks for each of my boys. My kids like doing workbooks. They just do. So we do workbooks. So I have the sticker USA activity book. And then for my younger son, it is a state sticker activity book. This one's much more simple than the other one, but the sticker activity book, the big, huge one, they're going to have to actually, can you see that? Nope, you can't because there's a glare. Here we go. They're actually going to have to fill in all of the information on top of just putting those stickers in there. So um, it has like the state flag, the state flower, the state bird, and all of those are just stickers that they stick into the book. But then the rest of this, they're gonna have to fill out themselves and we're gonna use all the information that we get from the other things that we have read and the other books that we're looking at to fill out all of that information. And like I said, the one for my preschooler is very simple. It's just a picture like this, and then they, he just sticks on the stickers. And again, this one would actually be very helpful for my older boys to use in their big, huge sticker books. And then the very last thing that we're gonna be using in our history unit this year is this president's sticker book. It's the same as the other book that I'm using for my younger son. And so this, you know, it just has all of the information about each of the presidents, and then there is a sticker. So I'm basically gonna let like one boy put a sticker on each day and try to be fair about it. There's a look at the stickers. Um, and then they're also going to learn all of the 50, 50, I was going to say 50 presidents, there aren't 50 presidents, there's 50 states. They're going to learn all of the president's names. My younger son, because he did brain training, he actually knows all the states. I said states again. He knows all the presidents again. I don't think he knows all the states. So, um, but I'm going to have him teach his other brothers how to do that. We're probably also going to use a song and things like that. Because when we used to do classical conversations, there was a song to learn their presidents. And that's how I know all my presidents. Whenever I'm trying to think, I just go through that song. So there's lots of fun ways to learn your presidents, but I also want them to kind of know a little bit more about them. So we have this, but also the history curriculum that we're using talks about lots of the presidents, but it doesn't go into modern American history. So that we'll have to kind of do all on our own. 
If you have any questions for me about our history curriculum this year, please put those in the comments down below. I will have all the books that I can link. I will have all of them linked in the description box with my Amazon affiliate link so that you can go ahead and check those out for yourself. In case you're wondering, my older two children go to a cottage school two days a week, and so they do their history curriculum completely with the cottage school, and they are using something from Memoria Press that is all about the 13 colonies. So that's what they're learning this year. So it worked out because these pretty much go together. So all of our children will kind of be in that same cycle because it is a classical school. So they'll basically be learning very similar things. So that way, if we decide to send our younger children to the cottage school next year, they'll be, you know, in the same place as everyone else that's there. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please click that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.